All right. Okay, so I'm going to talk about um, it's going to be scalable replication and change listening. Um, and I'm going to do it through the example of a database per user design. And this is primarily for like the couch and pouch type of environment. And I'm also going to talk about the solution Spiegel that I just currently released. I'd show you guys code and go into slides, but five minutes is just not enough time for it. Um, I figure I can just draw this and maybe this will illustrate it a little bit better. Let's start with a couch DB. All right, so we have couch. Okay. And then we have a database here, database here, and we're going to say, let me back up first to give you a little background on, on what we're trying to solve first. That would help. Um, <laughs> so uh, the particular application that I want to focus on is for some is for a app that uh, that I developed, which is an educational app. And in the educational app, you have uh, work that's passed between students and teachers, right? And in this app, uh, you end up having a design which is a database per user. And the way that you can think about it is that the students have a database, and then the uh, teachers also have a, a database that they can access, but the teachers have to access the data for all the, the actual students, right? So in this model, what you'd end up having, having is that you'd have like student one, student two, and you have a database for them. And then you'd have the actual client which could be PouchDB, could be Hoodie, or whatever the case is. Um, and then you have syncing that happens between the CouchDB, and then you have your individual clients, right? The problem is that for the teacher side, let's say teacher bigger smiley face, okay, is that the teacher in certain models would have to pull from these two different student databases unless you do something in CouchDB, which is replicating the data. Um, so what you can do is you could have a teacher database and you can replicate the data from the student databases to the teacher database. Now, this seems like a pretty solid design, but one of the biggest limitations of CouchDB, unfortunately, in this design is that this is not done very efficiently. Um, what would happen is that, let's say you have a system where you have 10,000 users and you only have maybe 100 users changing data at a given time. You'd have these continuous replications which are taking up file descriptors and tons of memory uh, resources. So this design breaks down pretty quickly. So the solution that I've created actually for Quister and just recently open sourced is called Spiegel. And it has two main pieces to it. The first is this scalable replication. And the way that it works is that inside of CouchDB, there's something called the global changes, OK? Uh, global changes, GC, OK? And it listens to this global changes to see which databases are actually changing. And then based on knowing which databases are actually changing, it can actually intelligently just replicate the data for those particular databases when it's happening. So you get a more real-time uh, replicated environment. The second piece to this, which is not about the replication, yeah, how much time do I have? Two minutes. Two minutes, OK, good, is the efficient uh, change listening. And the reason why you need this is because in a lot of applications, you need to do things such as aggregate um, metrics and think, or you, you need to aggregate the data and then analyze for, for metrics and then report that to your actual users. And so what you want to do is if you have PouchDB and PouchDB is syncing directly with your, your clients, you're writing directly into the database, there's no API that you programmed, right? So you're getting data that's getting uh, changed directly in your database. You need to listen for those changes and then respond and create things like notifications to say, okay, this data has changed. Um, you should take a look at it things that are, are like meaning behind the actual data that's changing directly in your database. And to do this efficiently, um, <coughs> there's a, a way in Spiegel that you basically create what's called an on-change doc. And then you uh, listen for a particular change based on like regular expressions or whatever the case is. Um, and then you can create your own API, which can also talk to CouchDB. That design is completely up to you. And the on-change documents will allow you to listen to changes. Let's say um, this particular student has submitted work. I can listen for that change. I can then say, OK, I need to generate a notification for the teacher. I will then ping, uh, hit the API with a request. The API can then change some data in here. Can use Spiegel. It can go directly through a PouchDB connection, whatever the case is. But it gives you the freedom to be able to do this efficiently. Because if you don't do it in an efficient manner, we're talking about a very simple scenario here, but if you have you know, thousands or millions of, of databases and user accounts and, and syncing operations. You need also as well multiple instances that are listening to all the data and doing it in an efficient manner. So 
it's uh, to summarize because I don't have much time to show you actual code. Uh, it's scalable replication, scalable change listening right on the dot. <laughs> it's